I see, based on all the research I'm doing and talking to companies, that we're also getting to a world where AI is calling AI, right? The AI is calling to rectify a billing issue and the recipient may be an AI. What's your view on that scenario? And do you believe that is the trend? Yeah, absolutely. Actually, you know, really funny example uh, on a lot of our client calls, I'd say in the past couple of weeks, uh, I realized that our AI meeting note takers, both from our side as well as from clients, you know, they show up to these calls, you know, Zoom, and there's actually more AIs on the call than there are humans. And so we're joking that like, hey, there's like 10 AI note takers in this call, but there's only three of us that are humans. It's kind of weird, right? So I think that's where the, you know, obviously, the, I mean, when we talk about the future, it's actually already here where we're seeing AI um, more prevalent in our, you know, day-to-day -day life, whether it's personal or professional. And, uh, you know, I think the future at one point is everyone's going to have their own AI, which is going to be a, a representation and a clone of who they are. So that all the kind of monotonous work that we don't want to do, which is like, I don't want to call Comcast to cancel my internet and be on hold for an hour. Why don't I get my AI to actually call and wait on hold and click through the IVR buttons and so on and so forth and go handle that for me. And, uh, you know, we make this joke um, internally, but at some point, kind of like in the movies where, you know, I'll get my guy to talk to your guy. We'll get something done, right? It's going to be the same thing with AI. I'm going to get my AI to talk to your AI. We'll get on a podcast. We'll get it to work.